Hey, what's going on Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here and in today's video, we'll be going over a complete review of Vexels. If you are new to Vexels, it's a design platform to help you find or create different merch designs and graphics, logo templates, product mockups, and different resources all in one place. This online design platform has been visited by over 100,000 users weekly from over 200 countries. Vexels provide an affordable solution for all print-on-demand sellers around the world. And if you already have your own business, you know how extremely expensive it can be to purchase your own designs or find your own mockups for your products. And I've been testing out Vexels for over a month now and I'm surprised at how easy it is to create my own logos, designs, and mockups. So in today's video, I'll be going over a complete review of Vexels and how you can use this tool to grow your own print on demand business. And if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to print on demand. And if you love content, just like this, please go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. So welcome to the Vexels complete review. I just logged on to my Vexels account so I can show you everything they actually have to offer on this platform. And if you are a print on demand seller like myself, this is literally a must have tool because they have all different types of graphics for different niches. They have different mockups that you can use, plenty of PSD files, logo makers, things like that. So we'll be going over everything that you can utilize on Vexels. So the first thing that I actually want to touch on is if you hover on over at the top, they have a toolbar that you can toggle through all kinds of tools and graphics. So if you hover over graphics, we'll look at merch ready designs first. So when you click on this, they'll be able to show you all the different types of graphics that you can literally download and start using for your print on demand products. Remember, this doesn't always have to just be t-shirts. It can be on a tote bag, it can be on a mug. Whatever you wanna put it on, you can find the graphics on here. Now, I like that they give you plenty of inspiration and different designs that you can select from. Now, if you are in a specific niche that you wanna use Vexels for, you can always type that in up here. So you can type in dogs, cats, uh, nurses, skulls, whatever your niche is, go ahead and type it in. They'll have plenty of graphics for you to choose from. Now, if you're new and print on demand, you can scroll through all these graphics and figure out which one you want to sell. Maybe there's a different niche that you want to possibly test out. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how easy it is to download these graphics, edit them if you want to, um, things like that. So as I'm scrolling through here, I really like this one over here. Um, the wolf is actually a very popular niche in the print on demand space. I know a lot of my students have success in the wolf niche. So I'm going to be using this one as an example. And I think this graphic looks absolutely amazing. So once you click on it, it's going to look something like this. So what you want to do is go ahead and click the download button. So from there, you can open it up as a PNG file, or you can also open up on uh, Photoshop. So I just opened up this design file on Photoshop. If you don't already have Photoshop, it's super cheap, only 10 bucks per month, and you can use all of the tools that they have to offer. So if you are a person that you'd like to dabble around with art, or you like to do your designs by yourself, this is a great option to go on Vexels, download the file, and then make changes. Maybe you're good at coloring in um, the art that you have, you can do that as well. Or you can just leave it the same and then you can, you know, add in the text if you want to. Now, another tool that I want to talk about is if I hover on back on over here and I click on T-shirt maker, you can be able to customize your own designs right on the T-shirt itself. So I think this is a great alternative for those of you who don't want to use Photoshop. Okay, number one, whether you don't want to pay for the subscription fee, you don't really have the time to learn Photoshop, which is fine. You can use the one provided to you by Vexel. So this is completely on their platform. You don't have to download Photoshop for this. Um, so I think this is amazing for anyone looking to start with print on demand, but don't really know where to start. So what I like about this is not only do you get to choose um, the model, so you can choose, you know, you can choose this guy over here or this girl. Um, but I'm going to stick with this one just so I can show you how it looks like. 
Um, but if you scroll down over here, you can select the T color. So I can choose black if I want to. I can select the color of the background. Another thing what you can do is when you click over here, you can select different graphics that you want to put on um, your model over here. So you can either search for it up here. So you can click, you know, dogs, cats, whatever. Um, so what you do is once you find the graphics, you can go ahead and click on it, drag on it. And then what you can do is you can resize it, move around however you like. So maybe if I want to make it bigger and look like this, I could do that as well. Now, if you don't like it, you can go ahead and click on it. Click on this trash can up here and then go ahead and delete it. Now, another thing what you can do, if I'm going to click down here, they actually have t-shirt templates that you can use. So these are pre-made and what you can do, you can customize these. Let me show you how easy it is. So say for example, I want to use this template over here, as you can see. So let me click on this. Okay. So automatically they're going to change the color of the shirt and then um, you can, I can go ahead and change out the text. So instead of Queens are born in October, maybe I want a t-shirt that says Queens are born in August. Okay. So I can go ahead and write on the mock-up. I can go ahead and just type in August, click out and boom. Look how super simple and easy it is to change out the text, change it out to however you want. Vexels provides you with a template. There's so many to choose from. So I'm going to come back here. Just look at how many there are to choose from. Literally, you can make hundreds and hundreds of designs just with these templates alone. So I love this. Um, another thing you can look at the text, you can change out the text shapes up over here. If there's any kind of text badges you want to use, again, there's plenty of these over here. So tons of things that you can do. Um, and once you find the design that looks good and that's something that you want to use, um, as a design on your Shopify store, you can go ahead and click this button to download this uh, design. Now notice that I didn't use Photoshop for this. I didn't use any fancy software. This is super beginner friendly and Vexel provides you with this amazing t-shirt mock-up tool. So right now I'm going to show you a different tool that you can also use on Vexels and that is the logo maker. Go under tools and you click on logo maker, you'll be able to get on this page. So whether you're starting a brand new print on demand niche or you're testing out something different, different, you're going to need a logo every time you test out different brands, different niches, things like that. So it can be very costly to go on Fiverr or Upwork and hire a designer to create a logo for you. But on Vexels, you can actually create one by yourself and it's going to look super professional. So I'm going to show you how to use this. So once you have this page pulled up, you can go ahead and enter the name of your brand. So in this case, I'm just going to say, you know, wolf apparel. I'm just going to stick with the wolf theme because I've created some of the designs previously. And then they're going to ask you, you know, what's your logo for? I can just say, you know, clothing. And then what Vexels will do, they're going to suggest different logo designs for you. And you can select different ones that you like um, and then change it out later on. I suggest that if you can't find one that fits the aesthetic of your niche or what your business is about, just select one with the style that you want, and then you can customize that a little bit later on, which I'll be showing you. So, so in this case, I'm going to click on this one over here. It just says Wolf Apparel. Obviously, I'm going to change out the logo. So what I can do is I'm going to come back over here and I can type in Wolf, click enter, and I'm going to find a uh, icon that I can replace with this shirt, and that will be my uh, logo. So in this case, I like this wolf over here. I think it looks amazing. This one fits the branding and what my store is about. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, I'm gonna, I don't want this one, so I can go ahead and delete it, take it out. Now, as you can see, I want wolf apparel text to be laying above the image here. So in order to do that, you want to come on over to the sidebar and then click on the layers and then you can adjust it. So over here, I'm going to take the wolf illustration. I'm going to push it down here, which means that I want this one to be the bottom layer. So as you can see, once I did that, the text quickly appeared at the top. So such an amazing tool for you guys to use. Um, again, with this one, you can also uh, swap out the colors if you want to like blue, if that's the color you want to go with I like that. Um, and then I can actually make the text bigger if I want to. So it's going to look like that. 
and I can click on my graphic and make that a little bit bigger so I can, which I think I'm just gonna leave it like this you can go ahead and download it up here and they will save a file onto your computer which you can then upload you know onto Shopify as your logo or if you have a Facebook page you can upload onto your Facebook page as your logo so tons of things that you can do um, if you are wanting to come back and you're not done editing they also have this feature where you can actually save it on Vexels and come back at a later time you can do that as well so again if you look at this logo super professional it looks like something that you hired someone on Fiverr to do it for you um, but again this is all included with the Vexels account. Now, another feature that Vexels have is if I hover over the product section, I can go under KDP Designs. Now, once I click on that, they will be redirected to this page over here. Now, if you're not familiar with what KDP is, basically it's Kindle Direct Publishing. So if you're into selling on Amazon, you can register an account on here and you can start selling eBooks, paperbacks, literally the, almost the same concept as print on demand, right? Whenever you make a sale, that is when Amazon will go ahead and print it and then ship out your order. So it's such an amazing way to also earn passive income. So I'm actually going to do a tutorial on this at a later date if you guys are interested in it. But I think this is such an amazing way in addition to print on demand to get exposure um, with ebooks and on Amazon as well. Now, if you're not familiar with how this actually looks like, if you actually go on Amazon, you can type in things like kids notebooks, puzzle books, things like that. And you literally what you do is you put a design on the cover of notebooks and you can actually start selling them. Even just this one alone, they have over 2000 reviews. Now remember, not everyone leaves reviews, mainly about, I would say five to 10% leaves reviews. So you can just imagine how many sales this person made just with this unicorn sketchbook. Now I like Vexels because if I come over here, I can literally search for any kind of books that I want to use. Um, and I found a lot of unicorn ones as well so there's one over here so if I click on that one it's gonna look something like this again same concept once you find well you can go ahead and click the download button and you can go ahead and customize it however you want now remember you also have with Vexels if you look under the graphics you can go under other vectors designs and find different unicorn designs um, or any other designs that you want to put on a notebook and then customize it yourself Again, so many different options with Vexels. You're not limited to, you know, t-shirts and mugs and uh, canvases. You can also get exposure with Kindle uh, Direct Publishing on Amazon as well. So the last thing I actually want to cover on Vexels is say, for example, you want a design that you can't seem to find on Vexels. Um, so you want maybe a custom one done. So if you look under the tools section and you click on it, Go ahead and click on design request and what you can do with design requests is you can have a designer from vexels create a custom one for you so all you have to do is click on this red button here that says make a design request now from here you can literally type in what you want on the design so it says tell us your idea so you want to go ahead and type in what kind of designs you are thinking about also include what kind of text you want on your design and give them some references. So if you have um, certain links that you found maybe on Google or a different site that maybe you want to give them as, hey, I want something that's uh, pretty similar to this. And can you make something that looks like this? And, you know, just kind of give your designer as much information as possible so that they can produce the design that you are looking for. So this is such a great addition into all the tons of graphics that you can download, but that you could also work with designers from Vexels as well. So let me show you guys an example. Uh, so let's just say I'm in the dog niche and I type in t-shirt dog and then maybe I want this t-shirt to be made. So it looks something like this, right? But I don't actually want to use this exact design. I want to create something that is custom and unique to me. You know, I can have a design that says crazy dog lady, but maybe I don't want this type of graphics for my dogs in the back. So I can just go ahead and search for, you know, other dog graphics here. So I found one that looks like this and I, to me, I like the aesthetic and how uh, the graphics of the dogs looks on here. I request, I can just say, you know, I am in 
the dog's niche. I would like a design on a, and I can just say, you know, a white t-shirt uh, made. Um, I have included the text I want below and I want three dogs all graphics on the design. Please refer to the links below. And then I can actually go ahead and include the text. So I can come back over here. I want one that says, you know, crazy. Is it crazy dog lady? Crazy dog lady. And I can give them some image references. So, you know, I can obviously uh, click on this one. It's going to take me to AliExpress. I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. Come on back here, paste it in. And then there's another one here. Um, I can go ahead and open image in a new tab and I'm going to go ahead, copy the link of this one, come back here and paste it in. Okay. Um, you can also upload any kind of, uh, files that you want to, if you want to provide additional information, but this is how you would make a design request for something that again, you cannot find on Vexels and you can't really create one yourself. You want a custom one done and then you want to go ahead and click make a design request a designer will receive your form they're going to get to work and send you back their design for you so such an amazing feature that i recommend that you guys check out and if you're interested in getting vexels you can register right now until july 6 of this year to get my 35 percent discount special so what will be included is first off you'll get this welcome bundle that you can go ahead and download now and you get 35% off either their Merch Plus Annual or the Merch Ultimate Annual. Now the difference is with the uh, Plus, you get four design requests per month, which is amazing, and you get 200 downloads per month. Now with the Ultimate, you get eight design requests per month and over 2,000 downloads per month. Just imagine if you're in print on demand, how life-changing it will be to get 200 designs uploaded onto your Shopify store every single month, or even 2,000 designs uploaded onto your Shopify store. So don't forget, if you want my 35% discount, click the link down in the description box by July 6th to get this discount. And that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about Vexels, please leave it down below. I'd love to know. Vexels is such a great tool for anyone selling merch or print on demand products. I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and check it out. Also, if you found value in my review of Vexels today, so please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. That way I know to create more content just like this. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Live free.